don't get a lot, God do it. And I don't pay my rent, God do it. They be one for my hand, but God do it. They be one keep my joy, but God do it. I say anything, they be not God do it. No, not God do it. No, not God do it, no. I don't change my name, God you I know more, I don't buy more though, God you I say my market no go sell, but God you win. And then we say I no go blue, but God you win them, my brother. Make them try their love, my God go win. No, my God go win. No, my love go win, no. As you don't pass exam, now God do it. And then we say you no go pass, but God do it. You wake up, sit with the last song, now God do it. From past the road, they no see you, God
the airport wasn't closed, but the runway was closed. And that made it difficult or impossible for commercial flights to come here. decision because this airport is a very important part of our operations and revenue generation. But so far, as you can see, the runway is one of the best runway now in the country. Very warm congratulations to uh, the uh, one and only uh, very dynamic uh, Minister of Aviation for keeping his, uh, his word. Looking around here, you can see an assemblage of Ndibo from our governors, to our ministers, to the leadership of Hanese, our businessmen, National Assembly members, and the great people of Southeast. The Minister of Aviation told us that we were going to have an instrument landing system here, capable of bringing an aircraft down with navigational facilities when visibility was difficult. And we are saying that we are believing that you do more. And I'm happy too that uh, quite a number of those who matters in this zone are here. I think the Southeast deserve every good thing that other zones deserve. I must say that. We did a number of sacrifices on the part of the government and the good people of Enugu State. So therefore, my absolute gratitude goes to Mr. President, President Mohamed Buhari, for giving instant approval of 10 billion naira to undertake the rehabilitation of the runway with several associated works. Welcome today to another wonderful edition of uh, our Niger Seven Wonders. And today is special because today is the 12th edition. And we are going to stop after today so that we can receive the new members next week of the Tourism 100. And after that, we induct them then we we'll slate them to join in the whole process that we are doing. So between now and uh, October, the end of September, this will be the last seven wonders zone for this uh, first part. Then we we'll admit the new members next week, same time, 3 p.m. Then each one from the Then in October, we'll start again because September will be doing quite a lot for 
of our Aquaba and our African uh, project. So I will want to quickly start with the first person, and that is Jibola. Jibola, are you there? Jibola. On mute, Jibola. Good we can't hear you, Jibala. Okay. okay, can we go to the next person? And Eddie, are you ready? Jibola, work on your system. Let's go with Good day. Pleasure to be on this. Pleasure. So let's go to Aniedi. Aniedi, um... yes, I'm ready. Hello. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, can you hear me now? Before you talk, uh, Aniedi, let's share your video. Okay. Okay. A very good evening. Uh, let me see the video that I'm sharing now. The time we all leave home in search of so called green pastures. This was the case of Inyobong, who had left home for very long. For all the hustle, nothing much. Until one day he met Nikki, a young rich girl who's so pretty. She said, hey, come with me. I just, I just like, like you. Forget get money. money. Whatever, Whatever you want, just tell me. me to pass your price. He I want to go home. I'm from Akwaibo. In case you don't know, Akwaibo, my yaya, with a better motto. Of life forever, and then for you, you should come with me. I'm missing the love at home. 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 Back home, sweet home. No place like home. I'm a king at home. So baby, feel at home. You're in a quiet home, and it's sweet like the honey comb. You go chop and go carry go. Cause they call it the promised land. I'm so proud of my motherland. Back don't call me what you want.
I'm live from Zumaro. Yeah. As you can see. Uh, irrespective of I have presentation today, I have to still carry out my duty. Because I have a client, I have to take them to Zumaro. So we are now live. You can see my fans. Yes. They don't talk. They don't talk about who in the afternoon. Morning. <laughs> so I'm an Edu Dafia from EDC Travels and Tours. I'm here to present to you a but right now I am in Duma Rock. What I'm presenting is a yet to start destination, which we, the next point of a destination is going to be Orozo Rock, a new resort for hello. Orozo Rock is located in Orozo, a suburb 21 kilometers southeast of Abuja, immediately after the Kurudu and before the Garishi. It's an uh, adventure hiking to the Orozo Rock. It's about 30 minute drive from the city. On the Orozo Rock, a prophet, uh, Dr. Umeze, was the one that led us to that because he always celebrated his birthday once a year in that on that it's all it, that is me on the rock as you can see this was taken last saturday that is the way leading to the, and my partner moving travel with there to look at that orozo rock we were this is the top we have the cave in the Rose Rock, one side of the cave in the Rose Rock. It's a very fun this thing and it's a tourist center as well, which we are about to explore to the wall. It's a hidden destination, but now we are bringing it to the wall so that they can now know that we have a Rose Rock, we have a Zuma Rock, and we have a As Aso Rock here in Abuja. So our Rose Rock is being added to our own destination right now, under the power of seven uh, wonders of Nigeria. On the rock, there is the rock. we have a plain surface of the rock that can contain about 25 to 30 people at a sitting. Celebrating is a kind of a, an adventure in, in the sense that we can use that rock to do a, what do they call them, ultimate search ultimate stage because when we went there we now see that ah this is a place a kind of destination that we can sell for all these people that are doing ultimate stage or shooting films it's located in orozo rock so now i will now move on to the facility as we talk but right now as i'm talking to you i'm in zuma rocco no be orozo reporting live reporting live from zuma rock as you can see Yay! i have my fans here as we can see Yay! i couldn't Now they are eating rice as an appetizer. Oh, my dear, tourism is not viable. Hmm. <laughs> so the next facility we are going to do, <laughs> my people allow me not to present this thing now, I beg. <laughs> I know not to the job. <laughs> so we now enter to the next one is, um, we have uh, the, the resort. The year to tap the resort, located at Echo. It's called the Manal Resort. The Manal Resort is a new, a new resort that will be soon opened before the end of this year. Irrespective of Corona, they are still working on it because they have to open it this year by God's grace before the end of the year. The resort is located at Taco, just beside the new uh, um, leadership. leadership newspaper. As you can see, it has a kind of bridge. There's a small stream inside uh, at the back of the resort. It has a room as well. A very a very nice room that you can stay there. You're there to settle. Set, you, you are there to settle your differences with your spouse. It's not a place that you just go and just be frankly first and be slept. If you enter there, you go see you go, go save you how to wait to drink. They will save you what to drink. They will save you, they will even be taking care of you. It's the white people that are um, operating that place. But if they don't mind saving the black, not the only black will go uh, uh, you will go save them. Just come to the Manal Hotel and resort honestly the resort is going to be they have a pool the pool bar at the back they have a pool 
they have a, a little stream and it's a recreational park for children. By the special grace of God, that place is going to open this year. Before end of the year, it's going to open. You can see the pictures there. These are when they were doing some come, come visit us. That is the Manal Resort. So they are offering a kind of discount now because of they want to create an awareness for the public to come to experience the, a lot of facility they have here. This is welcome to Manal Resort here in the city of Abuja. Now, the, next, the third one we are going to enter now is the food tourism, the ultimate food tourism. Because I'm from a quite much what I have, I don't borrow. We have a lot to promote. Food tourism, that is has been a quite boom, delicacy, showcasing like quite Yes. Yes. Make I calm down because if I use English, I won't speak grammar, food no go door, make people chop. Already they are even eating here because the one I cooked since yesterday, they don't they chop, they go far. You see what thing like they talk say, woman, you must know how to cook. All have to capture their hearts because they say juju, juju, juju. When you say, quiet, my, I take, I take, they carry my man for waiting. Waiting, carry the man, go. See, let me tell you, it is the way you serve your husband. It is the of a quiet boom. Woman, with a quiet boom delicacy. Knowing how to cook, knowing what to cook, and knowing when to eat. Men need to be, to be pampered. Carry them like a woman, like a baby. Let me just say, you go, just do, 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 do. The way you present your food will entice the man. Gone by the day, they say, please find me a maid, a kite. A kite will enter your house. Now, so you go take care of the baby, take care of your husband. We have a, a fiai ferry. We have a dika and Now, then they chop now. So, my crew, they are eating a dika and We have a mbade ferry. Mbade ferry, that is where uh, you prepare it with the unripe plantain. And we have a ditan. A ditan is a leaf that is not really known. Uh, if you are not known a quaibum, this is afang soup. You don't really know a ditan, but it's a, it's a kind of medicinal. A ditan is bitter in the nature, but it's a fatal, uh, it's good for a woman. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb and you eat the ditan, the way you prepare it, when you eat it, you would think that you are eating afang soup. It's not afang soup. So this is a, what we call seafood. Using all the sea, all the rich, rich, where they're inside sea, now they use cucumber. So now I want to talk, I say I beg. We women now, you see, as we they do tourism, they say tourism experience. So you have to experience some things. You have to experience some things in the sense, this is a abax, what we call a, a bangasu. Abax is being prepared with palm fruit. You use palm fruits and you cook it until when it is thicker then you now put all the increments inside this is the white soup you can see my crew, they are eating all the food. See them here. We are on a Zuma Rock. <laughs> Live on Zuma Rock reporting. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm supposed to be dead. Yeah. See them. Where is our <laughs> They don't give us a video of Zuma Rock. They don't want to keep They Okay, you have your own. When you finish, I beg. I, I'm coming for my own. <laughs> Where you go chop? Go, nobody the one you go chop. You may know. <laughs> I'm coming for my own. I thank you. And life of Zuma Rock, amazing. Look at the background. This is this is what we are talking about. I, I don't. I, I, I'm impressed. This is 
You, you are the best. <laughs> you are the best. <laughs> As I'm talking, please, if you are not here, try and join us at a uh, tomorrow. We are going to rank up in a very big way tomorrow. As you come, there is a gift for the first seven people, but we are not going to announce. Please, if you have not paid, just make sure you pay to come and experience live here. Yeah. At Pape, we are starting there by 10 o'clock. Yeah. Please try to be there. We can't do without tourism. This is our time. Carol, Corona don't open our eyes, so we not go, you go again. Now, now, you go, they come. Welcome to Zuma Rock. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can join them tomorrow. You can join them tomorrow. now but i'm on two programs at the same time i have several wonders and i'm also being sworn in as a committee chairman for the ministry of tourism piloting group so you could see me looking sideways <laughs> so uh but it's exciting thank you girls they've done well you can join them tomorrow join them tomorrow contact them there tomorrow is in papi if you've not been to papi in abuja join them tomorrow so jibola are you ready for us Jibola, are you ready for us? Unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me? Jibola, unmute yourself. Can okay, you hear me ahead. now? Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much, um, Mr. and Ambassador Inkechuko, for this wonderful privilege. My name is Jibola Olusha Yabati. I'm um, the CEO of iTravels and so based in Badagri. Yeah, yeah uh, there are three places I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to start with Olumiri Waterfall in Erinjasha. Many people have talked about it, but then it's a wonderful place for those who love nature. One unique thing about this waterfall is the location. It's all well located around within the rock, and the environment has a very wonderful vegetation. My first um, trip to that place was in January, this year before the COVID-19, um, the lockdown. I got there very early in the morning and I was able to experience what it looked like to, to see the waterfalls early in the morning. 
I mean, I, I, I thought for a while to, to feel so amazed with the, uh, with the environment. And another beautiful thing about this is it has um, seven, it's about seven falls, but I stop at level three. So if you love hiking adventure, if you love, if you love hiking adventure, it's a wonderful place for those who want to go on hiking, climbing adventure. It's a wonderful place. The, the facility is very lovely. The people are very friendly. I uh, could remember vividly the guy who took me down there, the Okada man, was able to even be of help in doing the recording for me and even doing some um, photo shots. So it's about five hours drive from Lagos. It's in nature. Like I said, it's seven, um, seven falls. But I saw a level city. But if you get to the level seven, you'll be able to have a full view of the, the area view of the, uh, of the city um, town itself. Very lovely place. My next place to mention is coming down to Lagos. And that is Omo Resort. One unique thing about Omo Resort is um, it's a one, one location with various activities. It's at Ibeduleki, Obidi at Ibeduleki. And at the resort, it's for everyone. Doesn't matter your age, whether young, old, family, couple, even a single person. There's no dull moment. There's no dull moment at the resort. What are the things that you can see? At the guys, the amusement park section where they have the, the pirate seats, the sun sliders, and the water, uh, the swimming pool is very wonderful. It's designed in a kind of Disney, uh, as if you're in Disney World, where they have a lot of. Um, very colorful environment, as you can see. So it's not just about swimming. It's about swimming with very beautiful um, designs around. You have a section for children, which is a uh, workable for children, and for adults, well designed. When I talk about the zoo, Omo Resort Zoo is um, is wonderful. I think apart from Ibadan Zoo, where we have lions, Omo Resort is the second place that, we, that has a lot of wild animals. We have about two lions and uh, um, the hyenas. They have. The two, two, um, two different types of hyenas, the five and spotted um, hyenas. So you can imagine taking, um, taking your family around this zoo to see this animal you would have want to go and see in, uh, in, the, in, in the other country. And after finishing from the zoo, they have a place where they call the bird sanctuary. There you can see, the, when I went, I was able to see seven different types of parrots. And they are being, they are being um, kept in uh, a to look at if you are into the wild, watching them. So, for those who love and experience something you see on Nat Geo Wild at, um, at the place, when you live there, it's not soon over. The amusement, the, the amusement park, like I mentioned, and when you're done, you can now go and cool yourself. I love anything that has to do with water. So, you can cool yourself in the water, in the, in the swimming pool, where you can cool off the stress of the day. The resort open 9 a.m. and they close 6 p.m. On Sunday, it's from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. So if you are going from mainland at a two hours slot, you will get there to have your time. The ticket is 4,005 per person. And that is the gold ticket, which covers up to like eight different of from resort of five. So it's one location, different type of attraction that you there's no dog movement. In fact, on, on many occasions when I go there, I used to tell people, let's go, it's getting dark, it's getting dark. So they don't want to go. They want to continue to enjoy the, 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 the activities at Omo Resort. So a ticket of four, five will take care of you for the whole day for something to last uh, a, uh, a memory. The third place I would love to mention that I've always been, my third place, that my base, my roots, is Badagi itself. Um, let me use this word to say, welcome to stress-free zone, Badagri. Welcome to where nature exists. Badagri is home of history, culture, and nature. And often when people mention Badagri, what first comes to your mind is history. Oh, that is where it has happened. But there's more to that. I'm going to say the nature. Badagri has lakes. Badagri has lagoons. Badagri has beach. So you can imagine three different uh, nature in one town. That alone shows that um, you can enjoy nature at its best in Badagri. But then, let me first take the lagoon. If you really want to enjoy the lagoon, the, the lagoon activities in Badagri, you need to pay a visit to a place called the Floating Restaurant. 
there you can have your dinner with your loved one right there on the lagoon. It's like a wooden chalet built on the lagoon. Not only you just sitting on Adria, that's the floating restaurant. You are going to walk from the mainland to this to where the to where the restaurant is. You are eating. You will have the opportunity to see the fishermen, the the, uh, the indigenous of Badagri moving moving on, on the lagoon, probably going for fishing or just moving. That is the life one you see. Then aside that, while you are eating, you can experience one awesome natural phenomenon, sunset. By the time the sun is ending of the day, it paints the lagoon in a golden it's something you just need to experience. It, it's always wonderful. In fact, I, I always believe that that's really the place where the sun comes to rest. After the whole day, after hitting people in the city, it comes to Badagri to come and rest. So when you want to experience the sunset, you have to come to Badagri to see this wonderful nature. Now, let's go to the beach. Badagri beach is so, so wonderful. Clean, neat, nice people around to keep your complaints, to tell you story. The indigenous will always want to come around you, to see you, to hear from you. But take note, people go to the beach to have picnic, and that's by 5 p.m. they end the day. But in Badagri, Life just starts at the beach when the sun sets, and that is where we have beach campfire. You can enjoy awesome beach campfire nights with your loved ones. It's really something you need to see. You don't need to be afraid. I remember when they first started this edition of this program, somebody said the problem with Badagri is over secure. Yes, when it comes to security in Badagri, you are covered. The indigenous super and a lot of security checks. You can slide start at night in Badagri. Take note, while you are there at the beach enjoying your campfire night with fish grill, coconut drink, or original palm wine, you are, you, you, you are committing yourself to nature in Badagri. And when you want to go around the city, you can cruise in the limousine ride. This limousine ride is something unique. You need to come to Badagri to come and enjoy. The night in Badagri is unique from what you see in daytime. The street lights in the Asian Badagri town are so wonderful. We have good roads. That's the limousine ride. You take your family and take up to five persons. And while you are on board, you are enjoying life inside this limousine ride. So imagine you bringing your family and enjoying life at night. So you don't need to worry. When you have, when you have, when you bring your family to Badagri, uh, you shouldn't just leave without enjoying the cultural um, music. A lot of cultural band are in Badagri who can who they will sing to you in the Igbo language or even in French to entertain you in a cool setting. So you can imagine yourself enjoying life that looks like as if you are in a small Caribbean island. That's the historical part. When you when you are done with Badagri and you are living, don't forget to go with our unique souvenir. What makes Badagri souvenir to be unique? They are made from nature, coconut. We have but we have coconut horse, cup that are designed. So after you finish eating your coconut, they are designers, craftsmen that will now convert it in the country. So we have some of these souvenirs on Bedefu Island and even um, on the mainland. For the campfire location where you enjoy, we have one unique um, resource that fills the beach. And that is Arakab, the private beach where you can, when you are tired at campfire night, you just go into your lodge, you don't need to be worried, oh, we are going on this late. No, the whole night, is, 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 is for you. And a lot of other um, private hotels in Badagri that, we, that are price friendly. So Badagri is more than history. It's more than history. You can enjoy culture and even fishing adventure. If you want to fish, we, we take you on a boat ride, cook, you stay near the lagoon to do your fishing. Bicycle adventure. Like I said, road to Badagri may be challenged, but Badagri has a wonderful road where you can even enjoy bicycle rides. The Ajido Road to Whispering Park. I can tell you it's one of the best roads presently in Badagri. No, no traffic, everything is so cool. And you can imagine taking your family or your group on a bicycle ride. These and many more are things you can really enjoy Thank in you. Badagri. Bring yourself to Badagri and enjoy unlimited fun with limited fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. There is something you didn't show, we didn't see. You know, I told them that you take the best photographs for Badagri. That your pictures in Badagri are some of these things. Fishing, sunset, it is amazing. So 
if uh, the badagri experience, you are very, very good. Eh? Thank, you. Thank you for that. And Olumiri Waterfall is everybody's favorite. It's the best number one now from all the votes. So thank you. Uh, Pat, get ready, we'll come to you. So why don't you sit back? Pat, we are coming for you after this. Thank you. The uh, Federal Government Committee for uh, Palliatives. So I'm in charge of uh, ex exhibitions and events based on Aquaba. So I had to mute myself here so that I can appear there and raise my hand and say thank you. So I say thank you to Tumba Roche where he just inaugurated the committee. Fully. And uh, Pat, are you ready? Yes, I am. First of all, I saw that you were 
on the platform last night with the NCAA DG till 12 midnight. Uh, <laughs> you I and the Jetons, I was monitoring you. That's well, very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. that was nice of you, eh? Thank, Thank you. you. Sir. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Pat Ozioma, um, the senior consultant for Smooth Worker Tours. I want to say a big thank you. I'm super excited to be here. Thank you, Mr. Kechinko and the Niger 7 Wonder team for this awesome opportunity. I'm so, so grateful. Um, more so, it, it couldn't have come at a better time when people, you know, have been locked in for a very long time and they want to go out, they want adventure, they want fun. But, um, you know, with the airspace and everything, you know, people are being confined that is where in, in their homes. And now we are bringing something new, something original, Nigerian, African, to people. And it's really wonderful. It couldn't have come at, you know, at a better time. So thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Now I'm going to be talking about, you know, destinations that I think um, as a group, as a tourist, you might like to actually visit. I'm talking about Kumbo Caves and Waterfall, and also the Pine Forest. It's actually a beautiful place. Kumbo Cave has been natural, it's a naturally sculpted limestone rock, and it is beautiful, you know, surrounded by waterfalls dropping from, you know, the top, it falls down to, to form like a shadow pool at the floor of the cave so people can actually dive right in i'm going to talk about where umbo is but let's just you know look at how the surrounding is actually a beautiful place um i was meant you know i've not been there but a colleague of mine actually said this is a destination to visit Is that the water you have where you have hot and the, the warm water come together at one? You know, people come there and you know they are awed, they are like amazed. I mean, is this place in any good state? Go is in any good state, and you know, and the caves are in Tawobo. You have the smaller ones, and you have rocks under rocks. It's such an amazing sight, and I think it's a, a very good place for people to go if you like hiking. It's a beautiful place to go to. You hike up the cave, and it's an awesome experience. Inside the cave, you have marks on the wall, you know, um, as an indication showing that people go there, write their names on the wall. And, you know, it is being believed, like she said, uh, you know, she has been there. She went there last with my colleague, and then she really experienced it firsthand. She said, you you know like love birds writing their names together when you write on that case it gives you a sense of you know oneness as it were so very good place for honeymooners to go and make their marks um, the place is so beautiful but the pictures does not really depict what we are seeing here like you can see that there's a walkway to the cave to the waterfall there's a walkway people just walk uh, you know um through those the, the in and all that. Um, Mpo is in Enugu state and um, it has a population of 50 people. He is a native of, of course, the population are uh, like, you have majority Igbo ethnicity there. Um, it's a beautiful place to visit. Mpo is a beautiful state. It's also where, you know, where um, the former um, um, beauty queen, lawyer, entrepreneur, Uh, she hails from and you know Enugu is been known for its nature, its wonder, its beauty. So at the same place, um, Mbo is um, the, the cave and the waterfall is located at um, Enugu Onicha Road, 25 minutes drive from Enugu Golf Course. For those people that you know know the area, but it's quite is is a place that is um, not hidden. Um, the access road is very good. And um, you have a pine forest. I'm going down now to the pine forest at Mbo. If the pine forest and the cave and the waterfall are located at the same place. So it's like you're killing three um, birds with one stone. 
So if you're taking your group there, just be sure, be rest assured that they're going to have a lovely time. You go from one place to the other. You don't even need to, after leaving the, the waterfall, go to another tour. No, it's a tour on its own. The pine forest, as we can see, so beautiful. You know, so, so, so classy, so lush. You can take a picture there and uh, people will think you are in the pine fall of the Northern California, in, you know, the, the popular little pine tree. People will think you're there, but it's, it's so beautiful. It is filled with pine trees and it's, it's been said that those pine trees have lasted for 50 years. You know, and people just go there to, to relax, to, you know, take groups there. Is so beautiful. It will leave you in awe. As in, is this Nigeria? Is this Enugu? You know that kind of experience. So um, it is a very good place to tour for groups um, to have picnics, camps. People come there for a day. That is to show you how safe it is. And uh, you have the locals around that place. You know, around around that pine tree. You have where you can gather your group. You sit down. You know, do your games. You can see the pictures here. Do your games, take your pictures, and then you you have you sit down and there's a local around there. They prepare, you know, indigenous delicacies like you know the abacha, the popular abacha, the pan wine, the oka. You know, they give it to you and um, you feel at home. It's, it's a really nice place. I think we should explore more. Especially if you are, you know, a fun-loving, waterfall-loving, cave-exploring kind of person, I'm sure um, you'll be glad that you, take, you, you took your group there. You know, I would I'd like to add more, like, an added information that if you're going to these places, you, it's advisable you go in a group. You can see the fine part with the pine trees. You know, you can't just, if you go through, you might just get missing. So it's better you go in a group. And the locals will take you around um, so that you won't be asking for directions too much. There's always a tour guard there. The entrance, I, I, I just mentioned that the entrance fee, unbelievably, is free. As in, you walk in, nobody's asking you to pay any money. I think probably when, the, when um, it's time for the government or maybe private entities, they come there and then they take over. Probably they will make it more commercialized, more professional, you know. So, but anybody can walk in now and then, um, you know, the locals will take you around. And it's important that you take water because if you are hiking, you take water, you take the necessary things and then uh, you wear the right clothes. Flat shoes, yes. Flat shoes, no heels. And then um, you, you would enjoy the place. The pictures really does not do justice to it. It's a really beautiful place. Enugu is a beautiful, a beautiful state. And I think everyone should visit. Okay, um, I think the next one I'll go is, oh, is Lapel Lakes and Gardens. We have been there. We have been there as a, as, you know, a group and it's, it's amazing. I mean, what really takes you in is the serenity of the place. Lapel Lakes and Gardens is actually, is a resort. Lapel is, is, is actually where you go and you are like away from home. It is being described as the West African best kept secret. Why? Because when you enter that resort, you have everything you need inside that resort. It has is is really peaceful, serene. It's thirty five kilometers away from you know Lagos, as in the hustle and bustle, and then um, it is it has an eighteen hole championship golf course. Yes, it does a golf course in a resort. What more? It's actually a rendezvous point for executives. You can take executives there on tour. You can take groups on tour. You can take adventurers, lovers of nature, you know, and um, sport lovers as well. Take them there. It's, it's a beautiful place. I went there and I was really, really, really impressed. They do pedal boating. Okay. You can see. They even have, okay, um, let me talk about this. This is showing now. They have a cottage kind of accommodation where you know you have the surrounding like a you know like a natural surrounding a overviewing a, a lake meet as well those cottages are really really beautiful and as an added advantage they now have 
an apartment. They have apartment, living apartments, mm -hmm. like two bedroom, three bedroom, duplex living apartments that can go as, you know, as low as 60, 580 K. Three is one person can be paying as low as 25k to stay per person. But considering the, the COVID, considering the social distancing, share 80k with, 30, with three people in, in a three-bedroom um, apartment, they are still not they are, they are still not paying so much. And they, they, the place is so beautiful. It's for honeymooners, you go around the resort, and they have move, they have so many activities. In fact, cycling, fishing, there's a giant garden games, chess, you have a golf tour, which they have, of course, you have to be a member as well. Then they have movies under the star. That movies under the star really took me as in you you watch, you practically watch movies under the stars. You have team buildings, um, bonding, you can do your team buildings, their workout section, bonfire experience, bed watching, you know, painting golf. They have a golf clinic as well, in case you want to do it. It's really a lovely place. It gives you that warm, you know, homely, um, away from, from stress kind of feeling when you go there. Look at the apartment, so lush, so it's amazing. Really. I can go on and on. But it's, it's a very beautiful so that I think for those that want to do a tour around a resort, that you don't need to go out of that resort. Yes, Lapel's Lakes and Gardens Resort is actually um, you. Thank you very much. I think that's basically my presentation. And I hope we'll visit sometime soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I, I like the wallpaper. I, I, it's amazing. I, I like the background that you have there. So that's very beautiful. And uh, I still remember the, the gift the last time. Now, you see what COVID has done for Nigeria. We see the bad part of it, we see the good part of it. Ungo Pine Forest, Ungo K. About this. Yes. this has been hiding in plain sight, and it's amazing how this uh, program is bringing things up. Yes. People are, and I need to also commend uh, Relu talked about the Kiriji, uh, Captain Emmanuel talked about the Kiriji. Now everybody is going to the Kiriji. So, I, I, Benga also talked about it. So, Ungo Cave waterfall, pine forest. I didn't know about most of these things. I know the pine forest. I know Millikin Hill, but I didn't know about the cave and the waterfall. Thank you. Yeah. Prior to now, I call it lack of weight. You know, and somebody told me where I go. So now, I needed to call it. A lot of people don't Know that and, uh, we are wondering where that is. For most people, they see it as lack of the resort and the golf course. Uh, it's an amazing place. And I think it's one of the best places you have in Lagos. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And Pat, I like your two places and you gave us fantastic stories that people should visit. We have to go there. Go next time I'm in any trust me, I'll visit. Uh Lakwe, yes. Apro Mbappe and some other places. So it's still ten thousand naira. Contact Namure or Peaceful uh, Sky and the rest of them and EDC and uh and join them tomorrow for that. I had to miss it because I have this inauguration for NCS uh, by the Ministry of Tourism, and I also had this. And I've been with you for 12 weeks, so I said I was never going to miss this. So if you notice, I kept doing, and they understood. They started 30 minutes before to give me time. But uh, it's still dragged. So, but it's over now. And uh, our job is to help reach out to people in the society, in the different uh, committees, they talk, all the association presidents are there and they will reach out to their members and we are supposed to collate 
uh, losses that they will do. We are, we'll be asking for tax relief. We'll be asking for some money. To, some countries give money, so why can't we give money? So we'll be asking for some support for people in the industry. All of us are broken. We are beaten. Five months, no income, but our heart is strong. And we learned a lot. We learned about Nigeria. COVID gave us an opportunity to do what we are doing today. So thank you, Pat, for Woke, Lakwe, and the rest of them. And we are doing the mega trip in November. Seven waterfalls, seven rocks, four states. Immediately after the Abuja Jabama, the Wonders Expo in Abuja on the 19th. On the 20th, we take off. Till the 27th, we'll come back. I already have bookings from outside Nigeria. Top operators, you can sell it. Your commission is there. You can sell it, Nigerians, non Nigerians. Your inbox will give you the prices for seven days, seven water. The government of those countries are with us, the government of those states. They, will, they are partnering with us. It's going to be an amazing, don't miss it. November 20th to 26th. 19th, we are in Abuja for Jabama. Then 20th, we'll start the tour. So don't miss that. Join us for that. Now we go straight to Kayode. Kayode, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, depending on where you are listening to me. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I'm uh, reporting live from Abuja, Nigeria. My name is Kayode Adeshola, the founder of uh, Tourism Plus NG and uh, as well as Executive Director of Capstone Travel Center and Vice President of the National Association of Nigeria Travel Agency. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I call you my organization for this opportunity given to me to join this ABLE team of Nigeria Wonder to discover the hidden treasure of Nigeria. I always say tourism that before now, Tourism has been an hidden treasure in Nigeria. But thank God for the good work that this team is doing uh, in making sure that we discover the existing tourism sites in Nigeria. Uh, I will be talking on, on three destinations. One is in uh, Equity State, and I will also be talking about Abuja, within Abuja, which is called the Almet Farm. So let me start from uh, AKT. I'll be taking us to a newly discovered de destination in AKT, precisely located within AKT, in AKT State. The location is just a 27 minute drive from uh, Ado AKT. It is a natural tourism site in the universe. It was, it's a mountain newly discovered by a pastor called Pastor Bayode just recently, about some weeks ago. The pastor just went on a mountain, on an adjoining mountain to pray, and he spotted this, uh, this uh, rock, which is located on the Abani Journey Road. It is it's being called Abani Journey Rock. The wonder of this rock is that it looks like an amphitheater. And uh, one of the beauty of, of the rock is that it can sit 500 guests at a go, which means that if 500 guests go to this uh, rock or this mountain, they, 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 they can sit there completely but being done. And a sequential arrangement of rock pebbles at this uh, mountain is very, very amazing. 
And another value of this mountain is that, that the mountain, the um, amplitude The uh, uh, outlet at the Voya where guests can sit comfortably yeah, to enjoy right. themselves. Yeah, and uh, immediately, this very man, this pastor, discovered this wonder of nature. Yeah. He immediately contacted, and immediately, yeah. our yeah. able senior special assistant to the governor of uh, Ekiti State. Uh, Mr. Wale Ojolari quickly picked his team and they went to this destination to look at it and the place has been assessed and as I'm talking to you, they are seriously working on it to make sure that this becomes a destination that everybody in Nigeria and the whole world will begin to visit. So I have not been there. That is... Uh, uh, Honorable Wale Ojo uh, Larry at uh, uh, the destination. And I believe that the governor of the world. So that is about the Abanijori Mountain. And uh, quickly, I will take you on the tour to the city of Abuja. Abuja is a city located at the federal capital of Nigeria. This city came to be after, uh, after the congested of uh, the city of Lagos. So the federal government decided to have a, a, a city that would be different from the hustling and bust, bustling life in Lagos State. So Abuja remains the capital of uh, uh, the, the, uh, Nigeria. It is a planned city and you can see in the picture and in abuja we have the national stadium which is now being called the mko uh, it's, it's a city a destination that you need to visit when you come around to nigeria or from another part of uh, nigeria you come around to abuja to have a, a, a good sense of of tourism and in Abuja, we have the indigenous of Abuja, which who are the, uh, the Gwari people. The Gwari people, they speak Gwari language, and the people around Abuja, we speak English, and we speak uh, Aousa language fluently. And coming into Abuja, you can access Abuja through by road and by air. If you are flying into Abuja, you fly into Inamde Azikwe International Airport. And if you are coming into Abuja by road, you either come through Kefi Abuja Road. And by the time you are entering through Abuja Kefi Road, the first thing you see is the national, uh, uh, the, the Aso Rock, where the president resides. And uh, if you are coming through Kaduna Road, you come through the Zuma Rock, which some of the panelists have spoken about. And if you are coming through the uh, Lokoja Abuja Road, the first thing you see on the airport road is the city gate. You see the city gate there, you approach the national stadium that has earlier been shown. Abuja is a wonderful city. The airport road in uh, Abuja. There is no hold up in Abuja. Abuja is the only city in Nigeria, where you can keep five, up to five appointments in a day. I don't think there's any city in Nigeria where you can keep five uh, appointments, but I can be proof wrong, but Abuja is a city where you can uh, keep five or more appointments in a day. And in Abuja, we have places that you can visit. We have uh, a world-class road network as we have seen. We have the National Mosque, we have the National Church, also known as the Economical Center. We have the Amusement Park, we have Zoological Garden. The Katampe Hill is there, which is the center of Nigeria. And we have the, the newly discovered Umpape Cross Rock. This is one of the wonders of uh, Abuja. And in Abuja too, we have world-class hotel. We have the Sharatin, the Transcorp, and many more. You can relax in Abuja, leave the hustling and 
bustling of other city and come to Abuja to relax. And in Abuja, various conferences, world class conferences has happened in Abuja. The Commonwealth uh, of, Go of Government meeting has been held in Abuja. Economic, uh, world Economic Forum of Africa has been held in Abuja. And the UNWTO General Assembly Conference was held recently at the prestigious Transcorp Hotel. That is the National Assembly of uh, uh, Abuja, the Parliament. You can see how, how beautiful the National Assembly is. These are what you experience when you come to Abuja. And when we talk about the climate, the climate is tropical wet, and uh, we have also dry climate. And uh, in FCT, you can, uh, uh, the, 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 you can experience a warm climate, humid, rainfall season and the blistering dry season. That is the Sumer Rock. You can see the wonders of Abuja. This, uh, uh, as I'm talking to you now, we have tourists, we have tour operators presently on this very rock, having fun, enjoying themselves live. They have just shown us themselves live there. So I'm welcoming you. I'm inviting you to Abuja to come and experience nature. Okay, this is still the Zuma Rock. You can see how beautiful the Zuma Rock is. And you can see if you are approaching the Zuma Rock and you can see something that look like human eyes. That is Zuma Rock for you. And that is Abuja and overview of Abuja for you. Abuja is a beautiful city. I'm imploring you, I'm inviting you to come to Abuja. And on your way out of Abuja through the airport road, if you want to experience the Gwari culture, you can go to Kushingoro uh, 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 settlement and the Karame Majuji settlement. There, the indigenous of Abuja, the Gwari people, will dazzle you with different uh, cultural dance. You taste their food and you, 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 you see their tradition, how they behave, how they put loads at their back. They don't put loads on their head, they put it at their back. So these are things you experience when you come to Abuja. And as I'm moving out of Abuja, I go straight through uh, Kuje, which I'll be taking you to a wonderful destination called uh, Allmart Farm. Allmart Farm is a farm, it's an agrotourism farm. This is the picture of the farm. It is one uh, like 51 minutes drive from the city center of Abuja. And the farm is uh, located, situated on a 67 to 70 hectares of land within the Kuje Area Council in Abuja. And the, the landscape is, 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 is on the farm. They, they grow organic vegetable, which have been supplied to all parts of uh, Nigeria uh, all around. And uh, there is combination of innovation and traditional farming techniques on the, on the farm. And on this farm, I was there last uh, Saturday. I was amazed with what I saw on the farm. The farm has 31 horses. They have uh, tall guards to take you around. They are ostrich, they are crocodiles, they are polo rats, they are monkeys, they are rabbits, and uh, they are uh, accommodation for you if you want to stay overnight uh, at the, uh, at, on the farm. The accommodation is from uh, 35,000 upward with a uh, breakfast. Those, this, this is uh, quite expensive for now, but I believe with time the management is going to do something about, uh, about it. Almond Farm, I say, is a place to be. People see farm but when i got there see destination i i saw destination this that is me on the farm and uh, i i was there with my uh, team and you can see the ostrich you can see as tall as the ostrich is the 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 the, the funniest thing is that the, the ostrich are so used to human beings that you can feel you can feed them even though you 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 you, you, you throw your phone to the ostrich the ostrich will want to take your phone from you I tried it. You can see the odds. They are very uh, affordable, 35000 But I think we will talk to the management to make sure that they bring the uh, price down. So Almat uh, Farm is in Abuja, located at 
Kuje. An experienced African safari in Abuja. This is our African safari live in the city of Abuja. So I'm welcoming everybody from all around Nigeria and from outside Nigeria that whenever you are coming to Nigeria, visit Abuja and come, let me take you to Almat uh, uh, Farm. This is a wonder of nature where you see fresh fruit. And uh, when I got to the farm, I was even given a brochure which shows what the farm, okay, you can see someone feeding the ostrich. You can see that this is amazing. And uh, on, like cucumber, like carrot, like tomato, freshly from the farm, which you can just uh, take home. And the uh, activities of the farm are horse riding, mountain, bike cycling, camping. You know, ride along the lake. You can do kayaking, rafting, family picnic. When we got there, we saw family having fun together. You can come to the uh, place uh, as well with your family, with your friend. You can come and just relax and have fun. I have a feeling of, uh, of nature. There are guided uh, tour guides on the, on the farm that are going to take you around the farm. And I, I believe that this is a destination that we need to promote as store operator. I want to say something that we as store operator, we should continue to do more in promoting destination like this. And uh, thank God that it is time now that our government are beginning to recognize the hard work of, uh, of uh, tourism ent uh, uh, enthusiasts in Nigeria, such like our own uh, ambassador, Ikeshi. And I will leave us with this saying that says, a tennis uh, racket of dollar. So let's value what we have. Tourism is life. Let's embrace it. I eat tourism. I talk tourism. I drink tourism. Everything about me is tourism. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. I remain yours. In the mission of travel, tourism, and hospitality, Kayode Abiodu Adeshola. Thank you all. Bye. But the story, the pictures, you know, I was just looking. For next Saturday. Yes, sir. To next Saturday, sir. 12th. Okay. Yes, Abu sir. People, Kayode has a tour to Ahmad Farm. Priest, Namure, Peaceful and uh, Peaceful Sky are doing, yeah, they are doing Zuma, they are doing Mbappe. Every so, if you're in Abuja, contact any one of those people, they will take you somewhere. So, next weekend, there is a uh, Almat, there is a uh, Mbappe, there is Zuma, there is Katampe, and in Lagos, Badagru is running. Uh, I know Social Prefect is doing something at uh, La Campagne, other people are doing Jara. I know Aminat is so. We are happy to be part of this revolution. We are happy to be part of this energy that is going on. Obud is on fire now. Everybody is going, trying to go there. Everybody is trying to go somewhere. We are happy that this thing has started. The energy and nothing is going to stop it. The momentum is there. We are going to push. And more people that come to join to push. And that's why we are bringing more people with the tourism. 100. This thing will become a big business for everybody. We are selling Dubai, South Africa, UK, Mauritius. There is no problem with that. There are 200 million people here. So why don't we also go to um, Peru? Eri Jesha. From the presentations we have had, Obud is the favorite of everybody for a resort. A region is a favorite for the poor for most people. So, and we think a lot of more thoughts should be good. 
Uh, and start, start to add to the Almat uh, farm, sir. Presently, there is a um, uh, every fee of uh, 2,100 per person, but uh, we are trying to engage the management to see if uh, they can bring this down uh, for tour operator. So I'm going to still have meeting with them to see how I can achieve that. And as soon as that is done, I will pass the message out. Across. The last of this first segment of the Zoom, we are in inaugurating uh, the other people for okay, next sir. week. Then we now go for Aquaba. You know, this is the season of Aquaba. We have uh, people coming from all over the world to join us in Lagos, and we'll do our farm trips, boat rides, Badagri, everything, but we are not um, able to do that because of the social distancing. So Aquaba will be online, the conferences. The first conference will be on MICE. A MICE, meetings, incentive, conferences, and exhibitions. And we have brought the biggest names in Africa. You don't get anything higher than this. This is the top tourism destinations in Africa. So, we have uh, South Africa Tourism, the chief executive of SAT. We have the chief, um, the chief executive of Kenya uh, Convention Bureau. We have chief executive of uh, Uganda Tourism Board. We have uh, the chief executive of Rwanda Convention Bureau. We have Seth Ange the former minister, one of the most popular ministers of tourism in the world, who is now running to be president of Seychelles. And we have the best, one of the best experts in mice in the world. His name is Rick Taylor of Cape Town. So on the 21st of September, just communicate, you can register now. You know, we can't take more than 500 people, so register now. Uh, once they share the details, register now for 21st. It's the big, biggest industry event. It's going to be massive. Nobody is talking about mice, so we are bringing mice to you. We have even, there is a trending buzzword in the business tourism uh, circle. It's called FIGITA, which means physical and digital. Is a hybrid between physical and digital. So the new uh, event you're going to have will be digital, which means 50% physical, 50% digital. So that on the 21st, our Aquaba will be digital. It will be a Zoom webinar. And for one and a half hour, register. We don't want uh, people to say, oh, I can join. So my is on 20, 21st. They are going to share the links for you. Then we will have um, uh, on 22nd our popular youth uh, conference. Youth and tourism is, yeah, that's it, digital. So, youth and tourism conference will be on 22nd. We have Miss Tourism Ghana, Miss Pan African from Zimbabwe. We have our lead speaker from UK. We have uh, Dane, who is the host, and uh, Dane Babo. We have a uh, Chiamaka social prefect. We have a uh, Mel Prod from South Africa. We have Annie from Rwanda. We have a uh, Meke from uh, Namibia. So it's a massive panel for youth. You know, for our youth panel, we normally we have 10, 12, 15 people, but that's physical. But this year, it's digital, so we can't have too many people. And that will be a two hour on the 22nd of uh, September. And on the 23rd, we are going to have another one. This is about the Caribbeans. You know, we have the Caribbeans last year um, connecting the dots. So we are going to have another one. So 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. 
will be Aquaba Day. We wanted to do the jollof rice thing on 20th. But see, so we decided if we cannot eat, it's not a near this old. She's cooking, other people are eating, and we are here salivating. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think uh, the jollof rice we have to wait for next year, or maybe we'll do it in Abuja during Jabama. We normally we have our food exposure and Jababa. So watch out for those things. They are going to share the links for mice. They are going to share the links for, okay, they've already shared it. And they are going to share for youth tourism. And we are going to bring the, uh, the one for, um, what's it called? The Caribbeans and the diaspora. So that will be, and next week, don't miss it, 3 p.m., we are going to do induction for the new members of the Tourism 100. They can join us. And in October, you'll be seeing quite a lot of them. So our trip, then if Dozier is there, we'll round up with him. last person once you finish we'll go okay so i think uh we have to end it here but before we we'll go the tour to abuja tomorrow is still on they are having fun today i hope we'll see the pictures uh, and it's 5k i'm told for tomorrow so you can still join them because uh, tomorrow they are just doing the picnic at Mbappe. so uh, we cannot drag you any longer. We have to end today. So this trip for the mega trip, don't miss it. You can partner with us. There is commission for you. And it's for seven days, seven waterfalls, seven rocks and hills in four states. It's going to be amazing. I think we're going to have a DJ to go with us. So you're going to have party nonstop. Party after party, after party, after party. <laughs> so, <laughs> they use food. When they cook the food, after eating, that's how they catch the men. Anyway, somebody told me it's not just the food. There is something they put in the food. After eating it, uh, you start doing it, which means answer me. If they call, they start coming.
minding you. So that's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I've been eating a lot of food from uh, Akwai Bob from Cross River. When I go there, pan Kuko and uh, what's it called? Fisherman soup. Those are my favorite. Then Grandma Okra and quite a lot of things that uh, we're able to eat when we go there. They have, have the best food for everybody. And I can tell you, here's another person. I can tell you that it's always good to sample. They cook the best food in Nigeria. I'm not from there, but I agree that the food that comes from, I can see the Dere Hill people. Okay, how are you? I'm sure you are in one of your hotels. They are traveling. So I have three weeks to travel. And I'm coming all the way to all the places that I, won't, I haven't been to. So now the rails will start running from next week, hopefully. So we can visit everywhere. We'll go to Idere, we'll go to Badagri, we'll go to everywhere, and I'll eventually we'll now join them in Abuja. I miss the experience today. And uh, I, our Badagri man, yeah, Akwata. Thank you for the congratulatory message. I received it. Yeah, we thank God for the opportunities. So next week, 3 p.m. same time, we'll be admitting our, our top 100 members, the new members. They'll be inducted. And uh, they have to send their pictures and their phone numbers to info at Niger 7 Wonders or wherever. They'll get mails so that we're able to do the induction very, very well. So on that note, I thank you for being with us today. And we want to commend the federal government for opening the runway in Enugu. It is one of the best runways in the country today. 777 can land there. Uh, 767, 787, every kind of aircraft can land in Enugu now. So we thank God. Dozier, your time is gone, but okay, come on. Those that will stay will stay back to hear you. You kept coming up on mute so you can start talking from there. Once Dozier finishes, we are done. Eh? Thank you for joining us today. Dozier, okay, um, open is good your afternoon, time. everyone. I would like to rush through my, my, my whatever I have to present uh, from, a, from a different perspective. Um, I, I'm CEO of Africa Traveler, uh, uh, travel media company. We, we are not uh, tour operators, neither are we travel agency. We promote tourism by writing and talking and like I'm doing now. So I want, I want to present my business from a different perspective of the media. Um, I want to say that uh, we are not, um, um, first of all, I appreciate Ikechuko for this kind of opportunity. We are we've discussing um, kind of the uh, positive distribution in the past, the past couple of, um, uh, of weeks, actually, the past two, um, um, eight weeks or so. And uh, we're getting very positive feedback from, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the public. From the masses, from Nigeria, from even from non-Nigerians. So I would like to say that um, we, uh, those of us in the media industry, the media uh, subsector, can you hear me? Um, a lot more to promote Nigeria and Africa as tourism destinations. It's, it's interesting that uh, someone, someone somewhere in 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 in, in UK. Or somebody, someone somewhere in the US is an expert on, on tourism in Africa. Which is so she, someone, someone from the UK goes to uh, someone in Gambia for two days, and suddenly he becomes an expert on Gambia. Someone from America goes to um, somewhere in, uh, on Edara Hill, and he becomes an expert on Edara Hills. And when he goes to the Google and type Edara Hills, you will find media. We will find blog posts written by someone in America, from someone by someone in Switzerland and by someone in Germany or someone in Italy. It doesn't make it doesn't make sense. We have to write and write and write and promote tourism in Nigeria, in Africa. Listen, if we don't tell the story by ourselves, well, they will tell it, but it won't be the same thing. Well, we could have told it. You understand? It will be a single story. It will be a single story. A single story of, of corruption, a single story of dilapidated road infrastructure, a single, a single story of Boko Haram, a single story of flooded headsmen, a single story of, um, of um, erratic power supply. So we have to tell this story by ourselves. 
Hello? So we have, if, even though we know that Nigeria has some of these problems, we are grappling with some of these problems, we also have, there are good signs. There are good signs. There are beautiful places to go to. I didn't even know Nigeria was this beautiful. I was listening to um, Pat Smith, what I meant to if you I think that there was a pine, a pine forest. These are amazing places. We shouldn't wait until we begin this Right and right. I made a blog post a couple of um, days ago on the result that this uh, problem has caused in Nigeria and in Africa. Let us pick our pen and our pencils and write. If you don't tell our stories, our stories right, they'll tell it on BBC. They tell it on CNN, they tell it on um, Al Jazeera, and will, it won't be well told. So let us write and promote Nigeria as a destination. Let us write and promote Africa as a destination. We have problems we're grappling with. Everybody, every country has their own problems. Let us let us highlight our good sides. Let us highlight our good sides. Let us highlight the the stories the we have in Nigeria. There are so many, so many of them. You understand? The guy from um, you could mention the um, the farm. It was beautiful. It was, it was very beautiful. And then the Badegi destination, there are very amazing places we could pick up, uh, pick, pick up our pen and, and promote. Let us promote our uh, Nigeria. Places like kind of things you see in, a, in, a, in South Africa. When you go to Kajiru Castle in Kaduna, it looks like kind of thing you see in, in, in Spain or in Italy and in England. You understand? We have beautiful places in Nigeria. Let us promote them. Let us write. Let's not wait until we begin this. So if we don't write about these destinations, they will, write it, they will be written in a way that will attract tourism and attract the um, tourists to Nigeria. So um, that's, my, that's, my, that's my take this afternoon. I'm sorry, my network has been very bad, as bad as Nepal. I don't know, I don't know which is more reliable. Is it, is it, is it my connection or, or Nepal? Uh, it's a terrible thing. Like that's that's Kajiri Castle. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful place. The medieval style um, That's right. Even if 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 you, can, if you can do a tour to a place, you can write about a place and promote that place. And then if Nigeria if them if Nigeria blossoms, it blossoms for everyone. If Nigeria blossoms, it blossoms for everyone. Very scenic. Very one of the most it's uh, it's very very instant 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 insta, um, memorable. One of the best, one of the best in Africa. It's easily, one of, it's easily the best in Nigeria, but one of the best in the world. You can, you can, you can see that you, you think you are in, in, in Pumalanga in South Africa, or somewhere in, in Bali, or somewhere in India, or somewhere in Indonesia. It's a beautiful place. So let's, if you can't do a tour, let us write. If you don't write, they'll do it, but not in the way that would bring revenue to Nigeria. They'll write a single story of, of, of bad road. A single story of um, a single story of um, killing and fighting, all of that and 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 and, and more. So let's write. If if you if you're in the I can see some some of the like is here. I can see Bolati is here. Um, just let's, I'm currently I'm mentoring about 35 people in creative writing in travel blogging, from from Malawi, from South Africa, from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Sudan, from Zambia. About 35 of them. So let us. Let us let us write more. Let us write more. If you can do a video, that's fine. If you can, if you can do a blog post, that's fine. But let us write more and promote. So, so that when you go to the Google and search Nigeria, theme park. Calabar Carnival is a different thing. It's a procession. So you can have those processions every day. So people need to first get educated. Then people need to know how to tell the story. We also have to have a talking point, and that comes from a master plan. Nigeria doesn't have an effective master plan. We can't sell everything. Lagos State cannot sell everything. We have to sell just a few things. And that's why we are doing the seven wonders. I can see the president of NATO. Uh, you are with me on the other Zoom conference. So, Hajia, maybe you have something to say before we close today. So, unmute Hajia. Unmute yourself, Adia. Okay, say something. We can't hear you. 
Okay. No problem. So please, we thank you for joining us today. Remember what Dozier said, write, 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 and write. We had uh, a lot of food today. We yes. And I can see Keras travel. They are one of those that have been enjoying Badagri so much. If you go to Badagri and there is no fun, she's one of those that have stolen all the fun from Badagri. They are having a lot of fun all the time. I see bonfire, I see pictures, and they see. So uh, these are the big top operators we have out of Nigeria. And we say, tell your story. Let's create a talking point. That's why we are doing the wonders of Nigeria. So we can have a national talking point. We all repeat the same thing to everybody. If you listen to reggae music, Jamaica is nice. Jamaica is nice. They talk about the Blue Mountains. They talk about Montego Bay. So we want to begin to bring those things together. Talk about Okudu. Eri Jesha, Katangpe Hill, Badagri. We just have one in each segment, and that's what we want to push to the world. We can sell everything to the world. And while we are doing this trip, enough. So in one trip, you can see more waterfalls than Bolaji, right? So visit some 18, then Bolaji has done to how many waterfalls, 30 something. So we are going to make sure that we all visit more waterfalls. Abajin, what's one? the one in Ekiti that my friend went to discover. We are having new exposure, Ungo Hills. So thank you and keep on the energy. Join us next week, Friday, 3 p.m. Let's welcome new members to this club and let's continue to celebrate tourism. Thank you. Sit back, enjoy yourself, and have a wonderful weekend. My name is Tilly Kechi.